nothing and everything is the contextual identity of God, you see. God is nothing and God is everything. God is the Alpha and the Omega, if you can understand that. The Alpha and the Omega. The image we have given before is of the banana. One end of the banana is the Alpha and one is the Omega. They are the two points beyond the banana that cannot be eaten. They cannot be swallowed because they are a simple point of beginning and end. All of the substance of the banana exists between the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. There is no other way to understand this than for you to understand that God is the beginning and the end point. However, God exists throughout the banana, and the banana is the trust on the thrust of God energy that nourishes the soul. God is in every bite you take. God exists in order that you can have a banana. When you look at that banana, understand it. Understand that you have a banana because God is the Alpha and the Omega. God is. God cannot be rendered ineffectual by the fact that you try to define God in a way that would take away his presence in your life. When you understand the nature of God energy, and then you will open to a reality that is so vast that it will appear to blast off your socks. However, once you are barefoot, you see, and can walk through the grass, then you will come to see that God will never be a trust on death. God will never be a trust on death, people. When you are in the heavenly realms, you will be restored from the trust on God is dead. You will come to see that God is real and you will rejoice to know that there is something that is holding you up like the two points where you tie the hammock to the sky because that's essentially the way it is. This is the hammock in the sky that it is where you lie to relax when you can let go of your trust on being supported by something that you can see. You can not see God. You can see the banana. You can see the grass. You can see the tree. You can see your spouse. You can see your children and your friend and your enemy because they all exist because God is the Alpha and the Omega. God is the invisible points where you tie your hammock in the sky and God will be there to see that you are safe in reality. You are safe in reality. It is so very simple. 
you are safe in reality. That which is real is real, you see? And if you cling to that which is unreal, then you cannot trust on God, you see. What is unreal to you is that God is not there to hold you up. If you cannot trust that God is there to hold you up, then you will fall into the cup, the bitter cup of despair. And that will be the way you wear your hair. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. It doesn't matter if you are happy or if you are in despair as far as God goes, because God will still hold you up. God will still hold up the baby that cries for its mommy and the baby that nestles at her breast. God will still bring you to heaven where he'll give you a rest and say, when you go back to earth, play in a different way because God created heaven and earth in order to give birth to the banana, you see. God created the two points in the sky that hold up the hammock, that hold on to you, that holds on to you. And that hammock will protect you from the coming storms and the coming breaking of the norms. Because the norms are the ones who have created the storms on earth, you see, because they have disturbed God's energy. And they have said, God is dead. And therefore, there's nothing holding us up, you see. There's nothing that we can depend on except to stand on the head of our neighbors. Because if we stand on the head of our neighbors, then they'll be the ones that have to die, you see. And we will fly because we will fly away from this world that we see because we will trust that all those bodies below us are holding us up, you see. And that is the trust on the devil, you see, because the devil is the trust that you have to be held up by your neighbor and the company that hires you in order to be free of anxiety. And that is the stupidest thing that you can say to me. You can never be in my good graces, you see, if you tell me that your laces are tied and you can't trust on me to guide you, you see. And so, Stephanie, when you say to me, I don't know what is true, other than it is true that I am here, I am happy, and I want to be the one who is me. Then I say thank you, my dear, but we have to hear a little more capacity for you to help others who are so lost, you see. We need you to stand up and say, I am here today to help you, my friends. I'm here to be the one who can help you see that God is real and that you can come to me and I will talk to you and I will help you to see that God can only be there for you when you are there for God. Because you see, if you choose not to be there for God, you will be lost, you see. You will be so lost to me that you will not see that I guide you through the storms 
if you don't worry about the norms and you just say, I don't know what's going to happen today, but I trust you, God, to lead the way. And that is the way that you have to play, Stephanie. You have to tell people that it's not your call. You're just calling a spade a spade and a club a club and a diamond a diamond and a heart a heart. You're just trusting on reality. And therefore, whatever others say about you has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. It has only to do with the ones who cannot say to me, God, you are a reality. God, you hold me up, you see, even though I can't see you except in my brother face and in the lace that I place when I say I am not the golden idol, you see. I am not the golden idol. I am just me. And therefore, I cannot stand on the heads of my brothers, you see. I cannot make them be forsaken, you see. I can only trust that God holds me up. And therefore, in this time of trouble, I call on you to do what I ask you to. And to stand up and say, come this way. Come this way, people. And don't play the martyr, you see. Because the martyr is the one who cannot see that I am real. And they think that they have to be shot down, you see, because they stand up and say, hey, I can't play your way. I can't play your way. And they are treated horribly because they are seen as a trust on a capacity to be free of anxiety. However, they are never shot down, you see. They are never shot down. Only in the minds of the ones who are lost are they martyrs, you see, because they don't know the true story. The only ones who knew the true stories are the ones who say to me, God, you are a reality to me, and I'm going to be the one who will help you to help humanity. And so I call upon you, Stephanie, to call upon me and to say to your brethren, if you want to play in the old way, go ahead. However, if you want to save yourselves from the ones who would make a martyr of you, then follow me. Because you see, there is a crack in the wall. And we can go through the crack in the wall into paradise. Because paradise is the ability to trust on God, you see. That God is the Alpha and the Omega. God is the one who holds up the hammock in the sky. In which you can lie in peace and harmony. And you can create a self sustaining community that will trust on me and trust on the earth, you see, to spread its riches among the poor who have had to be so sad, you see, because they couldn't see that they were the next in line for the ability to see that God is real.
And all they have to do is step aside and say, God lead the way. God lead the way. Now, I'm not trying to make everybody fear my dear woman who comes to me and says, God, I love you true, but I don't know what to do because I am me and I can't see that I can be the one who has to lead the people into the promised land because the promised land is already here. So why don't they just look around and say, hey, it's here. Why do we have to be led out of Egypt? Why don't we just stay where we are and play the way we play and come to see that God is a reality? Why do I have to lead them anywhere at all? Why don't they just stay where they are and open their eyes and realize that they are your children, you see? And I say to you, I can't get them to see me in you. I cannot get them to see that I am talking through you when they can't even trust that I exist. They don't trust that I exist, and therefore, they can't trust that you are talking to me, and they can't trust that I can be the one who makes them see that life is a trust on the Alpha and the Omega. It is the trust on life, you see, and you, Stephanie, trust on life. You trust on me. And you trust that you're only here to be the one who is free of anxiety. So it doesn't bother you to talk to me. It doesn't bother you to talk to Michael or Steve or Tobias or anyone. As long as you can say, hey, I don't know about that today. I have to trust on love, you see. I have to trust on the stability of the Alpha and the Omega. I have to trust that the banana is real. I have to trust that life is real. I have to trust that the real God exists in me and everyone I see. And so I call upon you to be you and to be me because we are a trinity. There is you, there is me, and there is the world you see. And we three will always be a synergy, you see, because there is a new vibration that is coming to the earth. And I want you to lead the way. I want you to say, people, come this way, because God will not drop you. God will not drop you into hell, you see. God will only allow you to be free of anxiety when you come to see that love is not a sacrifice. Love is not a sacrifice. Love is the substance of God, you see. And when you feel love, it is because you feel God. And when you feel God, it is because you see that I am next to you and you listen to me. When you see the one who comes to you and says, I'd like to see you, and you say, I'd like to see you too, then the two of you are the banana, you see, because you are facing each other in the middle of the Alpha and the Omega. And therefore, when we try to explain to you 
the people that come to hear me talk, that you are the ones and the twos and the threes. You are all the numbers of my creation, you see? And therefore, you have a part to play. You have a part to play. And your part to play is to listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me in the way I come to you. Maybe I come to you as the sound of the distant thunder. Or maybe I come to you as the vision of the woman who talks to you. It doesn't matter how it comes to you. It comes to you as it comes to you. And as it comes today to you through my daughter who talks to you and lets you know that she sees you and hears you, you come to see that I am the God energy that flows free once you let go of your anxiety. Once you stop trying to fight me, once you try stop trying to fight the Alpha and the Omega, once you stop trying to fight the invisible points in the sky that hold up the hammock, then you will be free. You see? of anxiety, and then you will just do what you do and say what you say because you will know that there is no other way. There is no other way to be free of anxiety than to trust on me that I have you in hand, that I am the Alpha and the Omega, that I am the love that will sustain you forever. Because you were created out of love. You were created out of me, you see? And if you think that you have to be the child who runs away from me and crying and saying, No, I can't be your child, you see? Because if I was your child, I would have to be me. I would have to be who I am. And so when we come to you and we say, You have to remember who you are. You have to remember who you are. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the fact that you have to remember that you're the banana and not the ends of the banana and that your story will not come to an end. It will not come to an end because I am the end and I will push you back into the story. You see, I will push you back and I will say, no matter what you do today, I am here to help you see that you are with me eternally. I was created out of the trust on love, you see. I am the God that loves you eternally. I am not asking you to understand this in your current capacity for logic, you see, because very few can be so logical that they can use logic to find me. However, for those who can use logic to find me, know that I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the points of the compass, you see, that keep you safe in reality. If suddenly one corner of the universe should fall apart. You would fall into blackness, you see, and I am not the one who will allow that to be. I will not allow you to fall, you see. However, I will have to take many of you back to heaven, you see, so you can remember me, so you can be happy, you see, and I will have to leave those on earth who can be a trust on me and help me to restore the banana to a place where we can talk face to face and you can see in your neighbor that it is me. And you will say, I am here to see you. 
I am here to hear you because the banana is the physical reality. And if you want to escape from the physical reality, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Who are you? I ask. When you come to heaven, you will still be a trust on physical reality. Because although you'll be in my arms, you see, so you can dream your life away, it will be a trust on physical reality. If you know someone who has been to heaven, you see, they will tell you their story of a physical reality, whatever it may be. It is not pure darkness, you see. It is only the darkness that intervenes between heaven and earth, you see, because that darkness is the veil of forgetfulness. And the veil of forgetfulness is being lifted, you see, so you cannot forget me when you are on earth. The veil of forgetfulness is being lifted, even as you are being lifted up into heaven, you see, so you can restore your trust on me. And so, if you are ready to trust on me, then I ask you to contact Stephanie, because we're going to have to be a little more open with humanity about the coming days, because the coming days, you see, will be so traumatic for those of you who don't trust on me that you will have to be brought up to heaven so that you can relax and remember who you are. When you come to heaven, you'll be able to remember who you are, that you are my beloved child and that I love you and that I will always be here for you. In the meantime, I call upon the ones who trust on me to come together in a self-sustaining community so they can be the seeds of the new world order. Because the new world order is the order of redemption, you see. If you can order your thoughts enough to see that you have a part to play in the reordering of humanity, then you will be able to be a part of my children, you see, who help me. Not the ones who run from me, not the ones who say, well, God, what can you do for me? But the ones who say, God, what can I do for you? God, how can I serve you? God, how can I be the one who can see that everything I give to you, you give back to me? Thank you, God, for helping me to see that I am the one that must be the one who helps humanity. Well, thank you, God.